OK, then, Paul, after what was quite clearly the anger on Tuesday night comes the period of reflection. You've had a time to look back at it. What's, what's your thoughts on Tuesday now? Um, I think I'm still angry, to be fair, at, at, at this minute. Um, things like that don't go away sort of overnight. And it'll probably take us uh, you know, a good performance and, and, and a win to, to get that out of the system. Um, you know, uh, we'll, be, we'll be working hard. We've got behind closed doors game today, see if we can get some of the, the injured lads back up and playing. Um, and we want to go into the, this game on Saturday, which looks a very tough game after their result on, on Tuesday night. Uh, we need to go into that in a, in a really positive frame of mind, um, but with a little bit of oomph behind us, uh, and try and put right some of the things that went wrong the other night. There's been a pattern, hasn't it, in these last couple of games? Great start and then a goal conceded around the half-hour mark and things never really got back on track in both occasions. No, I think, I think if you, if you analyse the game the other night, uh, you know, I played it through in, in my head and uh, I watched parts on the DVD. But for the first half an hour, I thought it was excellent. Um, realistically, we, 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 we created two or three great chances that, um, you know, if, if, they, if they're against us, they, they go in the back of the net. But um, being analytical, um, people are just having, looks like having probably one, two chances against us and scoring both at the minute. Uh, some people could just say, well, that's a law of averages at the minute and, and it'll even itself out. But, you know, I'm a stickler for saying, you know, we need to sort these things out early. Uh, like I said the other night, my, my, my mindset's not changed. If we don't start and sort these little things out, it's going to be a long season. Has it been a case that in these last two games, little, little inklings that you've had in the back of your mind for a little while have been confirmed in these two games? I, exactly, yeah. Um, you know, it's no secret. I said coming into the season that there was, there was one or two things that I'm, I'm not happy with. Um, you know, uh, these, these, these things now are coming, uh, are coming out and, and, and catching up with us. Uh, you know, it's, it's how quickly one, it's how quickly we can get injured players back on the field. Uh, and two, it's how quickly these players learn uh, that these mistakes shouldn't happen. Uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a lack of consistency in, in, in how we're conceding goals at the minute. And, it, and it, all it is is a mindset. Uh, and we need to get a grips with it really quickly. And you feel that there has to be fresh blood. You've been having a look at a few players in the last couple of days. Well, I've been having a look at a few players in, in, in the last couple of days uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because you know, if, if uh, Tom Naylor does get suspended, it, it doesn't leave us with any with any sort of fit defenders apart from the lads that are playing. Um, but also, um, you know, like I say, coming into the season and and, and finding out, you know, it's, you know, I've been seeing the majority of these clubs at this level now. Uh, we've played against two uh, from uh, both both from different styles and, and, and different backgrounds. But uh, you know, I want to nail down what's going to make us successful this season, and I think we're missing a few ingredients. At the minute, um, you know, and it's my job to put that right. As you said, there you mentioned the Tom Naylor sending off. You've decided to appeal. There is always that risk, isn't there, that if it doesn't go Mansell's way, you could lose Tom for a, for an extra game. Yes, it is. I mean, I, I watched the DVD, you know, of the, of the game. Uh, you know, I sat down with the chief executive Steve Barker, and if I'm if I'm totally honest, I thought it was a perfectly good tackle. You know, the trajectory of the ball uh, was a follow through from from Tom. Uh, I must admit, he flew into the tackle, um, and it was a full-blooded tackle. But for me, um, you know, it was a perfectly, perfectly good tackle. Uh, you know, it wasn't two-footed; it, it, it was one-footed. Um, I mean, I think the referee said that, that he jumped into it. Um, but for me, you know, he, he played the whole of the ball, um, and uh, like I say, me and Steve got together. We had a good talk about it, and, and we had to be honest about. Uh, about making the decision because of the, the extra game, um, but we both believed in it, it, it was it was a decent tackle. You know, uh, some referees I think will would have given a, a, probably a booking, um, maybe because they maybe saw a little bit of intent there. Um, but if I'm honest, you know, Tom's record speaks for itself. I don't think he hardly gets booked in my mind, um, sent off. Uh, I don't think he's malicious in any way. And, um, you know, we're hoping that the appeal's uh, successful. We had Reece stay with us on Tuesday night, and he said that maybe Tom Naylor's reaction afterwards didn't help matters either. Yeah, I mean that, 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 that's the that's the thing about it. Um, you know, t Tom Tom's a passionate lad, you know, but he, he's not malicious anyway, uh, and probably you know the way he reacted afterwards um, might might have added to that. But you know, the, the referee didn't send him off for for his. Um, I well, shouldn't send him off for his, uh, his stuff after the tackle. He shouldn't send him off for, for the actual tackle and you know speak to the referee. He never said anything about any of the uh, malarkey afterwards. It was all about you know he thought the tackle was a bad one. So uh, I'm hoping that the, you know common sense prevails and, and, and that uh, people look at the, at the DVD and, and uh, make make the right decision. 
elsewhere we saw on Twitter, for instance, uh, Alan Marriott and Martin Riley coming on and apologising to the fans. Is that something that you're pleased with? I think, yeah, I think that's the least they could have done. Um, you know, there was a hundred and odd sort of fans, you know, that took time off work and, uh, you know, paid the order and cash to travel all the way up the gate, said, you know, three and a half hours. Um, and to, to be subjected to that, you know, uh, I mean, I know how I felt um, personally, so, uh, you know, I, I, can, I, can, I can understand how supporters feel. Uh, you know, I, like I say, going back to it, I said that we were, we were going to take a few bloody noses. I still think we'll take a few more, if I'm honest, while, while we, we're putting things in place. Um, but I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that this, this has got to be done as, as quickly as possible. Yeah, last season, you know, I lost, uh, I think I lost four or five out, out of the first ten games. I didn't have a really good record in the first ten games. You know, I'm hoping that, you know, with looking at this and, and knowing what, what needs sorting, that um, we can nip this in the bud um, very, very early, uh, so we can put a, a settled side out there that, that, that's. Uh, this winning football matches to, to sum it up. So, Martin, we're two games into the season. Mansfield is still winless. Is the pressure on already? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think the pressure is always on. At, you know, we're at a big club. Um, you know, Mansfield's you know, it's a football league club. Um, pressure is always on for, you know, for us to win games. I think. You you were once at Wolverhampton Wanderers, so you know the pressure of being at a club like well. Maybe not the same level as Mansfield, but what can you draw on that experience? Um, well, obviously, you know, I, I learnt a lot there. That's where I learnt my trade. You know, as a centre half, um, I say it's a great club. You know, I, I, that's where I learnt everything. You know, I, I kind of know, but you got to drop down. Um, obviously, drop down the knees, and it's you know, it is different. Um, and I say you've got, you've got to adapt quite quickly to that, but um, I say football's, football's a simple game, you know, you, you go out to win and if you're not winning, you're not doing good enough. What do you think went wrong at Gateshead on Tuesday night? Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good question, I say, for, you know, we looked, we looked all right, I think I feel, I feel like we kind of got hit with two sucker punches. Um, which obviously was poor defending, um, and that you know knocked the wind out of us. Uh, and after that, we couldn't we couldn't get back. Uh, we've got to look at that game as you know um, a blip. Um, we'll move on and look, look to brain through now. Have Mansfield been a touch unlucky in the first two games? Do you know what I think? I think I think we have a little bit, um, but that's not an excuse. Uh, we can't use that as an excuse, you know, to concede three goals. On Tuesday night, you know, that's not good enough. Um, I've got to look at myself as that, as a, as a centre half. Um, you know, being part of the defence that's conceded three goals, um, that's not good enough. Uh, and I'll be doing everything to put it right Saturday. The manager's sort of, you know, talking about looking at looking at bringing up other centre halves in now. I mean, do, does that as a player kind of motivate you to think, right, well, you know, I'll, I'll prove I, I sh you know, I should still be playing. I'm going to be. Uh, well, yeah, of course. Obviously, you know, I'd, I'd say I'd, I'd, I want to be in the team. Um, I expect to be in the team. Um, but you know, if the gaffer, if the gaffer decides I'm not in the team, then mm. obviously I'm not doing something that he wants me to do. Mm. Um, which obviously I've got to look at. Mm. And that, yeah, that's the bottom line. Mm. Do you think that's been the biggest problem that you haven't, it, not not you personally, but each? You know, individual on the team hasn't necessarily done what the managers asked of him yet because um, they don't quite understand, you know, yet what the, their role is. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's not a bad shot. Yeah, I think I think it could be all right. And I say I'm sure the gaffers, um, you know, got his got his head set on it, sorted out. You've had a bit of experience in the football league as a player. What do you think is needed to get in there from the conference? Um, just to, togetherness, you know, support throughout. Um, everyone believed the same thing, you know, that if, if you know, we want to get promoted and whether it's the playoffs or whether it's um, automatic, then everyone needs to believe it, everyone needs to get behind us. If we have a bad start to the season, it's not the end of the world, you know. As long as everyone's behind us, we've got the support, you know, because it helps us as players as well. So, you know, uh, as long as we're all going the same direction, we'll be fine. 
Matt, the uh, you know, managers keeps talking about this soft underbelly that the team has in one or two areas. W would you agree with that and how do you think that, that you can put it right as players? Yeah, I think um, I, I understand what he means to a certain extent and it's probably going to come with more games and more experience. You know, like there's what is that, 15 new signings or something? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna just happen overnight. You know, it's, it's either, either two things happen: it takes time, and you build slow and strong, or you know, you, we could just start flying and then we could break up at Christmas. You know, so mm -hmm. um, it could be a good thing because we could just build from this now. This mm -hmm. could be a massive turning point for us and. We have to make it into something successful. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I mean, in the long run, do you think this, you know, the result on Tuesday might just, you know, sort of wake, not, not wake a few people up, but, you know, kind of give everyone an insight, those who haven't played this level before, exactly what <coughs> just out of it's going to be? Yeah, of course. You know, the manager said openly in change rooms, you know, he's here to, to be successful, and by hook or by crook, he's going to do that. So mm. we need to take that on board. Um, and, um, you know, either be part of it or you, know, you could be on the outside looking in. Mm.